It's not unlike gymnastics in the strength and suppleness required to pull off these moves. But while one is an Olympic sport, the other is frowned upon. And yet there's a growing movement to have pole dancing recognised as a legitimate Olympic sport in its own right. Most people, or a lot of men and stuff like that, they see it in strip clubs or whatever. And so they're only going to see that side of things. When you see someone professionally do it, it is amazing. It's jaw dropping. There's a difference between pole dancing and pole sports. Pole dancing is more of an art form, more of the dance involved in it. And then you've got your pole sports, which is more gymnastics based. So there's a lot of aerials, there's a lot of tricks, there's a lot of movement and transitions to get into these positions. And pole sports aren't a new idea. Traditional Chinese and Indian pole performances date back to the 12th century. But despite traditions and international competitions for men and women, dancers say they're still fighting the stripper image and they want recognition for their athleticism. Until pole dance doesn't bring up immediate visions of strippers and strip clubs, the amount of effort and practice and um, skill and strength that it takes is not going to be fully appreciated until that stigma of people assume that all pole dancers are strippers is gone. Regardless of pole dancing's racy reputation, the International Pole Sports Federation are trying to get it into the next Olympics. In a bid to go for gold, the Federation asked Olympic officials to attend the World Pole Sports Championships in London earlier this year. Tammy Baxter was one of two pole dancers from WA who competed in London. We did like preliminaries and then they had the finals. Uh, so I did the preliminaries. I unfortunately didn't make it into the finals, but uh, luckily Joanna Littlewood Johnson, who's from WA, did make it in. I just wanted everybody in the world to see how graceful and how much strength you need. Like it, it really is an Olympic sport. It's like lawn bowls is in, in the Olympics. That doesn't take too much strength. If it gains Olympic status, it will be called vertical gymnastics. Gymnastics is very much about mind over matter and so is pole dancing. There's some moves in pole dancing that um, are pretty scary, but you just have to know that you're strong enough to do it and do it. Gymnastics was exactly the same. Um, the only major difference is that um, if you come off a pole, you just hit the ground, but if you come off at gymnastics, you hit a crash mat. I like it without the crash mats. <laughs> But not all pole dancers agree with the Olympic dream. It hasn't been around for very long uh, as in a fitness context and it's probably a bit too soon. There needs to be some um, things put in place like standardised names for the moves. WA gymnast Olivia Vivian, who competed in the Beijing Olympics, says other sports have more legitimate claims for an Olympic place. I know there's a few sports under the gymnastics um, tent right now that are not in the Olympics, so I'm not sure even if you know it's fair letting them wait their turn and wait for the other sports that have probably been waiting. And waiting is exactly what these potential Olympic pole dancers are going to have to do, as the Olympic Committee is yet to decide if these spins are a sport.